Kelly Telly. Today I'm chatting with Lana from Theater Bacchus. Theater Bacchus is uncorking the new concept of merging theater and wineries together, creating a new sensory experience. Let's go check it out. Borsellino, and I am the artistic director and the founder of Theatre Bacchus. And how did you come up with this idea? Where did it originate from? I was tasting wine at a lovely winery just down the road from uh, London Born here, and uh, it was in February. And the owners were saying, you know, once the major theatre in the area closes down because it's the summer's over, uh, we hardly get any traffic. So I was driving down the driveway, leaving the winery, and I'm thinking there has to be a theater that's outside of the festival season here mm -hmm. in this area. That's that's really much where how how it came about. And then I just started writing a business plan, trying to come up with a name, and uh, and then now here we are. I'm I'm retired and raring to go. You're good to go. That's <laughs> yes. awesome. So I noticed you have a really cool logo. Why don't you talk about the logo and what it stands for? Right. So we're called Theatre Bacchus. When I arrived at the name, um, Bacchus is the Roman god of wine and theatre. So I felt if I'm going to put a theatre in wine country, it's got to be uh, Bacchus as, as its uh, namesake. Mm -hmm. So I wanted it to look like a, a, a Roman medallion or a Roman coin. So Bacchus, uh, the, the figurehead of Bacchus with the typical grapes that are usually framing the face of Bacchus uh, is on there. And then of course our name and, uh, and theater masks because yes. uh, we want that to be um, associated. That's so it. cool. Why don't you talk a little bit about how you came up with this new concept of merging theater and wine, but I also saw there's going to be food samplings happening with it or a curated menu to go with it. Why don't you talk more about the sensory experience? Right. So because the actual tradition, going back to classical literature of Bacchus, was multi-sensory, uh, it went a little extreme if anybody knows their classical literature, but, so we're not doing that, but uh, we did want to have our patrons experience theater, but also enhance that experience with the taste of wine and then food. So uh, London Born, our first um, uh, our, our inaugural performance, we're going to be featuring those things, but it will be up to London Born as to what they're going to serve. In our long-term vision, we will be uh, curating, yes, our own um, samplings of food, and we're calling them Bacchus Bites, and yeah. they will be signature dishes to go with, and they're not, it's not really restaurants, it's really tapas, it's like tasting, okay. tasting things. Okay. And uh, so yes, so every show will have its own signature tapas. And we're going to be sourcing as locally as we can and as sustainably as we can with whatever we serve. And let's talk about your first show. It's called Murder to Death. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what that show's about? The, the actual plot of this, the show is uh, a murder mystery, but it's a comedy entirely. So it's a, a total spoof on Agatha Christie. Okay. So audience members will recognize a lot of the, um, the types that they would see in an Agatha Christie play, but this is a bit of a send up of that. I love it. And what kind of shows are you looking for in the future? Are you going to focus on doing murder mysteries or comedies or dramas? What can we expect from future shows? Our, our next show is at another winery. So our future show there, she does a lot of um, weddings. Oh. So the, the next show is called There Goes the Bride. So it, it's, it really is tailored to the winery mm -hmm. that is hosting us. As far as the complete vision, the long-term vision of uh, Theatre Bacchus, the kinds of shows that we'll be doing will be really wide ranging from Again, classical to um, first run plays to um, favorites, uh, audience favorites. So comedy, drama, musicals, everything. Okay, so there's something for everyone now. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I saw that you're an advocate of being an eco-friendly green theater. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Part of the grand vision of Theatre Bacchus is that we would like to be the strive to be the greenest theater in Southern Ontario. Wow, okay. So when we uh, do the actual build, because we are hoping to construct down the line, um, mm -hmm. this is just a series of pop-ups that we're doing right now. If we construct down the line, we're going to be um, building um, a net zero building. And all of our uh, makeup will be cruelty free. LED lights and uh, solar panels hopefully to power them yeah. and uh, again as I say we're looking for land that we can grow um, our our own produce on so that our, it's really locally sourced plus wow. uh, building relationships with local farms we're in the green belt we're in the Niagara region yeah. so it's right at our doorstep for murder to death if somebody wants to come see your show how can they get tickets 
if an audience member wants to come and, and check out our, our inaugural show, go to theaterbacchus.com or .ca and there is a, a button that says get tickets and tickets are $40 for the show okay. and we have six performances. Um, what the audience should note is uh, this is sort of a boutique experience. It, there are only 60 seats available for each of the six performances. So um, if, you're, if you're in a group or I do encourage you to get your tickets pretty quickly because um, they just started to go on sale and uh, okay. they're, they're moving, which is terrific. The other thing I'd like to say is <laughs> half an hour or 45 minutes before the show, we were, we're also having a classical guitarist. Um, so if you want to come early and purchase a glass of wine mm -hmm. and listen to that before the show begins, that's another enhancement of your experience. Is everyone assembled? Top seven. Oh, excuse me, Inspector, but we gave our statements to one of the gentlemen last night. Then why did you assemble them in here? You asked me to, sir, in the lounge, you said, sir. Are you trying to make me look like a fool, Thompson? No, sir, that's the last thing you The first show, Theatre Bacchus, is Murdered to Death, which will be playing at London Bourne Wine Company in Beansville, Ontario. Let's go try some wine. So I just tell you a little bit about who we are as a uh, winery. So we are a family run winery and by family I mean it is me, my two brothers and my parents. Uh, wow. London born wine company as you guessed. We are London born, the real London coming from London, England. We started the winery about 12 years ago yeah. um, and before that we actually because we don't do anything normal, we uh, <laughs> kind of had a little bit of a jump from London, England. We actually moved to the Maritimes, and then um, because that wasn't insane enough, we decided <laughs> that we wanted something more exciting, something more different, and um, all collectively decided kind of, well, if we had the freedom to do whatever we wanted, what would we do and where would we go? Uh, and then one of those kind of crazy nights where you're just sitting enjoying the nice weather, the rare nice weather in Moncton, New Brunswick. <laughs> and yeah, yeah. And just kind of enjoying the weather in the back patio. And we kind of said, well, you know, it'd be kind of fun to have a winery. Like, <laughs> is, that, is that something normal people do? No, no, it's not. <laughs> but let, yeah, let's research that. Yeah. Um, Why not? So we kind of, a crazy ridiculous idea that was formed as a joke on a weekend night in the summer to something less of a joke and now definitely more of a reality. What kind of grapes do you have here? So uh, what we predominantly have um, on site, the property itself is about 50 acres. Yeah. Uh, not all of that is planted. What we have right now is um, the two main varietals that we grow are Cabernet Franc um, and Marichal Foch. And Marichal Foch is one of the, uh, the varietals that we're known for. Okay. Um, and uh, those vines have been on property for about 60 years, we've learned. As London born now, like to um, promote our wines and we like to drink things that we like to drink and we like to uh, produce things that we like to drink and do some fun things and um, hope that everybody else enjoys it, which I hope you do as well. Oh, thank yeah. you. I'm excited to try it. Yes, yeah. me too. I'm excited for you to try it too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is a style that is done a lot in uh, France and in Champagne, um, but uh, we try and do a few little different wines. Uh, we do have a lot of all the same wines, but at the same time, we try to do something a little different just to make it a little more interesting. So this is our uh, white gamay. Nice color. Yeah, it's very pretty. So I find this wine is uh, really quite nice. Uh, I get a lot of those fresh summer berries, um, like those uh, riper strawberry fields, uh, a little bit of, uh, it's got some nice acidity on there to kind of give it a really nice round thing. 
Um, good as a everyday drinker, also a very food friendly wine, especially with some nice oysters or some seafood. We're going to transition into a red wine. Um, like uh, my sister said, uh, where I'm actually going to pour you the um, Alvay Marichal Foch. Okay. Uh, this is very unique to us. It's something uh, that there's not a lot of producers actually making a, uh, a Foch. So uh, we find it does very well. And it's one of these wines we tell um, we tell customers it like get it while it's here because we make what we get from it. Some years uh, are a bit better. Other years are what it is. So it's one of these wines where we get what we get from it because um, as a vine gets older it will uh, produce less and less fruit but the fruit becomes more concentrated. Hmm. I did not so, know that. So, that it, was, it would be such a double-edged sword. <laughs> yeah. It is a American hybrid um, okay. so it is uh, it is designed to uh, withstand some of the cooler weather. Uh, designed in France and named after a French general, Ferdinand Foch. Oh, so, no, no, no. Oh. so have, a, have a little try of that. Yeah. Oh, it smells really good. Very cool. Oh, I, just, I love the nose on this. Just, yeah. It hits you before you even get to the glass. It's just mm -hmm. so lovely. So I find this is a very earthy wine. Uh, people have mentioned barnyard and hay, which kind of mm -hmm. I get because it's like that earthy uh, textures to it. I get some leather and a bit of tobacco, um, oh. but some very earthiness. And there's a bit of like those uh, black pepper and I would say uh, almost black currant on the fruit. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting the fruit. I feel like this is a great wine for like sitting by the fireplace mm -hmm. and reading a book. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stands on its own nicely. Mm -hmm. Really lovely. All our bottles are named after boroughs in uh, London, England. Okay. Um, so uh, the one you tried is the White Gamay, so it's the Camden White Gamay. Um, and um, uh, it uh, has a story on the back, um, and that's where my uh, mum um, went to school and grew up. No um, way. So there's a little um, story of how she remembered um, uh, growing up in that yeah. borough. Um, and then you can also see on the front, um, there's the map of uh, London. Um, and you can see the River Thames going through it. Um, so the Dotland Foch, um, again, um, another borough in central London. Okay. Um, and um, yeah, there's also a, a story on the back again um, of how my dad remembered that uh, borough as he was um, growing up or just uh, um, uh, living in London um, um, through the years. They, they chose London born um, just because it connected with us since we're all London born. Yeah. Um, and and um, we felt that really brought us all together and um, um, would uh, connect to us and also the customers. For sure. And do you get a lot of customers that are from London? Um, yeah, we get a lot of people coming in saying that their parents are from England and, you know, they want to talk to us or they, they say they've been to England and um, um, London in particular and want to know if they um, uh, rec if we can recognise uh, the places they've gone to. Um, yeah, so yeah. yeah, we do get a lot of uh, Londoners. We wanted to have the story to tell to people, every, every customer that comes in will have a little story about mm -hmm. us and that's, uh, yeah. I like that, it's more personal. Life. Yes, yeah. yeah. And that's more, yeah. Awesome, thank you so <laughs> You're much. You're welcome. Okay. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below or give me a thumbs up. <laughs>